Hey there guys, thanks for joining us for another Kickstarter preview. Today we're having a look at a game called Xerxes. This is by Alkion Creative and the designers, sorry guys, I can't pronounce this, so I'm just going to point over here and you guys can have a look or maybe even put some pictures up. So we're going to do a Kickstarter preview. Keep in mind everything is prototype components and this is all on Kickstarter right now, which if you follow the link in the description below, that'll take you straight to the Kickstarter and you can have a good look at what the actual components going to look like and the rules etc and whatnot. With me helping me for the preview is Michael Hi there. and Carla Hello. and myself Jason. All right so give you a quick overview of what's happening. Each of us um, is a governor of King Xerxes's court. So this is the Persian Empire at the time and what we're going to do is we're going to be basically Paying taxation to Xerxes, making campaign, military campaigns, building buildings in his empire, all in the glory of the Persian Empire. And the victor will be either the first person to reach 25 points, so it's kind of a race, or after seven rounds, the person with the most victory points is the winner. And there's some tiebreakers as well. Each of us plays, as I said, a governor. I am playing the governor of India, so my satrap starts over there. Carla is playing Babylonia, so she starts over there, and um, Egyptus. she starts over there. <laughs> right, so the, the main uh, crux of this is obviously it's worker placement. So we have two workers which will go out onto the board, and we can either gain resources or military units to then pay for our taxation cards, or for our campaign cards, or to build buildings. Now, this is quite important. In the beginning of the game, you get dealt six of these taxation cards, and then you choose five of them and discard one. And they're quite important because once you've paid the resources in the top, you get the bonus from the bottom. So, for example, if I pay these four resources, I can get this military unit for the rest of the game. Or, if I pay these five resources, I can get these victory points at the bottom of the game. So, those are what the taxation cards do. The campaign cards, on the other hand, require you to have the military units and then once you've spent all those military units you get five victory points and one player of your choice will lose a victory point so that's where you score or gain most of your um, uh, abilities and points from these ones over here can only be built once per player so for example if I build the roads no one else can build the road it requires six resources all of them require six and they do various things so for example the road will give me four victory points and I can choose another player to lose two victory points. So there's a little bit of take that in that uh, some of the players will lose victory points based on um, wherever we go. So it's sort of Xerxes getting annoyed at them for not being productive enough. So the first thing we do is place our workers down. Once we place our workers down, we then reveal the annual event. These are There are eight events here, so we'll go through seven of them. I think six of them are basically a particular resource that cannot be harvested that turn. The other two are beneficial things. Um, then once we've, done that, once we've done that, in turn order, we then harvest our resources, whether it be military or um, goods. And then we can play our campaign cards at that point. And then in turn order, we do building. So each player can have a chance to build a building. And then we do taxation, where you play your taxation cards, and you can spend for them, obviously spending your resources as you go. And then the last thing you do, if anyone goes into the turn order track up there, then they get to change the turn order, and not just move themselves up, they get to rearrange it completely. And as you can see, the first player gets in, he has to pay a resource every time he does the resource phase. Second place player has to pay military, and then third and fourth get military and resources. So that makes quite a difference. So that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty simple. I think we can probably get straight into it and you guys can see how this plays. And then if you like it, you can obviously follow the link and go back it for a copy of your own. So I'm going to cut you and then uh, we'll be back second. All right, so we've finished. We've literally just finished the first round. That was actually a really good round because uh, we got the heir, the king, heir to the king uh, ex, uh, event come out which is gain three resources of your choice which meant we all got to build two military units on our first turn yeah. so as you can see here I've spent eight resources now I have a permanent elephant and a permanent uh, soldier in play Carla's got a permanent horse and boat and you've got I have a boat and a man yeah so that worked out really well for us 
So now that's the end of the round. First thing you do at the beginning of the new round is move that up. And then starting with first player, which will be Michael, uh, he'll place one of his... Oh, we should have removed these from the board as well. We should. Uh, naughty, naughty. So starting with Michael, he gets to place one of those. Now you notice there's still three tokens on the board. Those are our starting locations, as I'm from India. Always Babylon, get yeah. those. So they so will always be there. My first one, I'm heading down to grab Persia for myself. <clears throat> okay. And you, it's me next. I'm going to go to Sogdia. Now the thing is, by placing the, the pawns down, so for example, in this situation, it looks like Michael's going for the mercenary there. When the event comes up, and it, let's say it might say we can no longer gain gold, and he was going there for the gold, he can then choose to instead gain the mercenary instead of the resources. So that gives you the option in case you get a little bit boned by the, the objectives, the events rather. Carl's going to do Assyria. So I need, ooh, looking around, um, I'm going to head here. Okay, then I'm going to go to, uh, no, I don't want to go to that one. That is there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go there. Um, that, uh, yeah, I'm going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Gripped by indecision. <laughs> so that's the placement phase done. Yep. So now we reveal the event, and the event oh, is locusts. No grain harvesting this turn. <laughs> <laughs> like to point out, Agent, oh. this is made events oh. is grot. So my plan was to build this this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, so that's not oh. happening, so... So starting with you, gain your resources. Gain my resources. Well, I can swap around what I was going to do ever so slightly, so I was going to do that, but... I can't do that anymore, so I'm just going to see... Yeah, I think I'll do this instead. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have, from here, uh, we're going to get ourselves a stone, a wood, and a yarn. Um, I was going to take the soldier from there to build something in the next phase, but instead I'm going to take the... One of those, one of those, and one of those from there. And from here, I'm going to take the... Uh, the gold? Cavalry, I believe. Oh. Or did I? Sorry, I'm just got to figure out what I was doing. No, instead of those, I did need to take the gold. I was already spending that one. So I'm taking the mercenary from here and the cavalry from there. Okay, and then what are you paying for your... My tax, I'm going to throw some wood at them, I believe. Okay. Uh, so that's what your income was. Mine is going to be from India. I get two more wood and a stone, but I've already maxed out on my wood. As you can see over there. So I don't get any more wood from that, but I do get the iron uh, over there. I'm going to get another wood, which is no good. And then a wool and a wheat. And then over there... I get another wool and two stone, but then I'm also going to use my one-time ability, which is I can steal one resource from another person, and I'm going to steal your wheat. Thought you might. <sighs> and that is my... I'm not doing any campaigning. Uh, oh, I, should I have campaigned yeah, you should, then? Yes, exactly. Uh, so I campaign at that point, so my campaign, I'm going to... Send off on this campaign, so I need a soldier who I've got from there. Um, I've got another man here, a boat, and I've got a cavalry from my home location. So I gain that, which gives me five victory points. Unfortunately, because I score that now, I can't give the minus one to anyone because there's no negative on the track. So what we're doing is laughing and pointing at you. Yeah, basically going, what are you campaigning <laughs> now for? There's no uh, glory to be had. Carla? Um, I am going oh. to... Uh, campaign. So I'm going to collect my mercenary from Babylonia. Mm -hmm. um, I have a cavalry and a ship. And then I'm going to use this guy over here. Oh, no, sorry, this guy over here for the chariot. You gain a free chariot. Um, for one, two. Oh, that one's a free wild, so you can use it for yeah. anything. I, by the way, had to pay a military. On my turn, I have two spare military, and I wasn't doing any campaigning, so I have plenty of military to pay for that. <laughs> um, well, then I guess I will 
use that and instead of this those one. Instead. Yeah. So essentially, oh, where is he? That one there. So you two gain five points. Are and... you give the negative two, Carla? <laughs> I'm afraid that it's going to have to be you. At okay. first in turn order didn't help you there, Mike. Yeah, it did not, did it? <laughs> um, but it does mean that I will then gain these following. So it's two gold and a wood from there. A iron. Don't gain the grain because of the locusts. Yep. And I can't gain the gold. <sighs> All right, so now we go into the building phase. Would you like to do any building, Michael? I would like to, but I can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am next, and I think I might actually do some building. Get. Yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I didn't get what I wanted to build, but I'm still going to build anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, this church thing. So I'm going to spend three wood, two Stone. Thing. How many people have you offended? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and there's one wheat, which gets me three victory points, and someone else will lose three. I feel like I should do Carla because she's in the lead, but I always like doing Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Number one rule of gaming: dick over Mike. <laughs> oh yes, and then I put that there to show that that has been built by moi, and that is the um building phase done now we can do the taxation phase anyone doing taxation I wish I could but I can't I can't either was, these are the cards I have left I was <laughs> thinking of doing this one but I'm short of that which is annoying and I require that for all of them so that was bad planning on my part number two Look at this, I'm on one victory point. Yeah, and you <laughs> anyway, campaigning this day. Yeah. <laughs> Carla's moving up three. Oh man, I should. Uh, Carla's spanking us because of your yeah. bad play. <laughs> <laughs> totally should have done her. Right. Um, uh, not to be funny, but we, we saw what happened. Early yeah. lead doesn't mean anything in this yeah. game. So um, that's the taxation phase done now. Now we it's end of the round. Well, technically it's there, but there's no one gone there. So that's the end of the round. So next round. It goes to turn three. We get to place our workers. Who's starting with Mike because he didn't want to change the. Yep. Um, I think we're going to have to. You'll have to just bear with me a moment. I don't think I can do what I want to do this turn. Maybe, you never know. Um, so we need one of those and one of those. So we shall go here. Okay, I'm going to go there. Actually, I need that one. Is it possible to do what I Sorry, want? Sorry, I'm going to that one. <laughs> what, here, Persia. Oh, yeah, Persia. I've completely <laughs> cocked this up. <laughs> I can't get what I need. Hmm. So I've gone there. Getting two of that. Brilliant videoing here. <laughs> no, I'll just go there for now. <laughs> Someone actually mentioned in a in a previous video that I should cut out the AP. But my theory was that when I show games, like gameplay sections, the AP is part of the game. Ah, you know? well, well, there would have been longer AP there, I'll point out. <laughs> it's randomly gone somewhere. It's me. I'm going to go there. Um, crap, no, I've done. <laughs> uh, so that's... What do I need? All right, so Michael, yep, do your campaigning and so campaigning first of all. So this dude, I will take a this one here. I'll have a horse. I will have a That's man me. from there. That's you. This one, sorry. <laughs> horse, a man from here in a boat. So I've got a horse, a man, and a boat. I need a shieldy thing. 
so I am going to knock over this man. Which one shall we do? Just deciding. We're going to send have this one, so I'll have the cavalry. My special ability I can use once per game is that I can swap one of the military units, so I'm going to swap that into a mercenary, so I gain that. We didn't do the... Oh, yeah, we missed the... Haven't taken any resources yet, so... Wood. No wood this turn. So I will not take this one instead, and I'll keep this one. Makes a difference, because they're the same by... I wanted the wood from there, but I can't get it. <laughs> uh, so I will have that one there, so it gives me five victory points. One, two, three, four, five, and sensibly I'll give Carla a negative. Uh, that, make, that makes sense. And then I collect resources from here, I get two grain and a gold. And then pay your... Then pay my one of those. Just seeing which of these. So I think I shall be paying a gold this turn. Alright, so my, my campaign phase, I'm using all of my stuff for military. Because I have to pay one extra military, so I'm going to basically use this as my extra military for that. And then I've got an elephant, an elephant, a mercenary, and a cavalry to play this one, which is five victory points. So I get one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to push more. No. <laughs> <laughs> I change to have it a lot of I'm going to do that, so. You done? Yep, I'm done. Okay, I am going to also go campaigning. So I've got um, my horse. You're getting a free military as well. Yeah, my horse. Man, we should have probably changed turn order. Because uh, she's <laughs> getting too many military out of that. <laughs> yeah. So my horse, chariot. Did I do this right, Ron? Chariot. And uh, what's name? Mercenary. Mercenary. So that one, sorry. So gets yep. one, two, three, four, five. And who are you pushing back one? It's gotta be gonna Mike, surely. To be you, <laughs> and then I am going to collect these resources, which is two wool and a grain. And that is the campaign phase finished. Uh, then we go into the building phase. Anyone doing any building? Down there, I wish I could. Carla, are you doing? I'm not doing um, any. Can't get to three of any resource. <laughs> I'd spent my really. entire resource gathering just to be in military. Yeah. So no, no building. Three of anything, so. And taxation. My problem from last turn still applies this turn, so I'm not doing any taxation. So I'm going to do a bit of taxation. I have two stone, two wheat, and a wood for plus three victory points. Okay. One, two, three. I'll jump, Jason. <laughs> Carlo? I don't have any. Okay. So that is the end of the round. And the, I think you get the general gist of how this works. We've basically got um, four more rounds to go. Uh, four more events will come out. We'll obviously probably change some more turn order. Gaining more victory points. First one to reach there will win. If no one reaches there by that point, then the person with the most victory points will win. There are different buildings here to build. This one, just for interest sake, the granary, you get seven victory points, minus one for each turn it's taken, whereas the fortress is you get one victory point, plus one for each turn. So that one's really good early doors, this one's really good late doors. I like these, these are nicely balanced, mm. The, mm. Um, the buildings you can acquire. So there we go. That's um, a little bit of playthrough of um, Xerxes. This is on Kickstarter right now. If you're interested, follow the link below. I'm sure the guys from Alcon Creative would love your support. They've done quite a few other games already, uh, which they have some bundles on the Kickstarter as well for that. There's some stretch goals for new um, sand traps and new events and stuff like that. So please go check it out. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.